I would like to start this by stating that nothing you see here is final, it may be subject to change. However, I would like to show you a little bit of what you can expect from the upcoming vegan campaign made by me for the Cola map. So here you see a recreation of an old printer paper. And as you can see, there is a little bit of a backstory here, but this is basically just the mission orders. There will be a screen that details the overall plot as read by a mission officer. It's all reading, of course. But in general, this is the page that's going to tell you what you need to know to accomplish your mission. So as you can see here, the Soviet advance has stalled a bit, uh, despite the fact that it's actually going faster than anticipated. But their logistics have been stuck in the Finnish wilderness. Uh, Ulle 09er and Ulle 31 will be tasked with destroying the fuel trucks, and intelligence reports little to no anti-air assets protecting uh, the convoy. So we are gonna pop down here to the uh, details here. You can see that we our target is fuel trucks near Rana, Finland. We are carrying two um, gun pods and a fuel tank. The target waypoint is uh, M4, uh, time on target is 0527, and time on target is going to be important in this campaign, because it would be in real life. Uh, that's going to be to my own detriment, I'm not good at time on target, but um, like I said, it's, it's, it's pretty much expected in any sort of vegan operations in this setting. Uh, friendly assets of all air flights will attack the same target, but not the specific targets we are targeting. Uh, rather, they will try to create a motti. The first briefing page goes into this in some detail. Meanwhile, uh, Jaktvigens from Urban will conduct bar cap. Uh, threats in the area are MiG-23s and uh, some lighter anti-aircraft mounted on trucks. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this, so I want your feedback on that. This is under here notes is stuff that you might want to know, and it's going to be both in mission and out of mission. So, for example, I've added um, what you should press to get the time on target correctly, uh, the takeoff and landing, uh, the fact that Waypoint Two is a large recognizable lake, perfect for naval or man fix. And that you should order your wingman to engage the primary target after uh, breakpoint three. Here is the in-flight map, and as you can see, here's the lake that's going to be nice and identifiable for the navfix. We are departing from Lulio, so this map is not entirely uh, complete. Also, the exit route is not actually shown here, but it's going to be on the uh, final version. And of course, the reason uh, the this is in blue is because you're su supposed to be able to see it. Uh, so this is one of the liberties I've been taking with the briefings in question. But how about we fly the mission? And I want to make one thing clear. I have been working on this mission for most of the morning. And uh, I've been fine-tuning some details and adding a few of the last triggers. As far as I know, this mission is more or less done in the way it's going to be when you are flying it. But I haven't tested any of it from the player's seat yet. So I want to alert you to the fact that there might be, well, prepare for unforeseen consequences. Let's wait for our wingman while we put ourselves in lag and nav. And check if there's anything else we need to do. We should be good with the rest of it, I think. And there's also Urban, who's going to provide the bar cap for this mission. Let's roll out.
Wheel us up. Zone one. And about 10 kilometers to the first steer point. Ole CR Niner, radar contact, contact LFC Elon. Ole CR Niner, LFC Elon, stay on this frequency until advised. Hey, that guy sounds a little bit familiar. Can't put my finger on it though. Joking aside, uh, the reason I always take the role as the command and control function in my campaigns is that is usually the role that requires the most changes. So if there's any last minute changes to the mission profile or anything, uh, it's way easier for me to just take on that role. And by now it's honestly been a tradition, so... We'll set up for B2, which is 10 miles, and it's going to be a little bit of a longer flight, both over water and uh, over land. So most likely I'll just edit the flight there out, and you can enjoy basically the next thing I'll have to say, rather than just watch me fly this thing in silence for that duration. That said, when you're flying this, this is going to be your best friend, because this and this marker here are the things that are going to show you if you're on time or not. And at first, the uh, time is going to be a little bit lenient. Uh, later in the campaign, the uh, it will most likely be somewhat less lenient. You have been warned. We won't go down to treetop level until we are at about uh, waypoint 2, because we're still a bit over Swedish territory, and there's not really that much going on at the moment. Alright, so we are approaching waypoint 3, and I think I messed something up, because apparently it seems to think uh, waypoint 3 is a target waypoint and it's not. Also, my time on target doesn't well, give me... I see the target. Uh, it, also, my time on target does not give me accurate information like at all. So, it appears la that uh, some of Ulle flight is currently moving to engage the target. We are gonna set a manual waypoint. Only one zero. I see the target. And uh, we are gonna wait until the rest of Ulle flight has reported that they have dropped their bombs. gonna put ourselves in a left-hand turn here and hopefully that will buy us the time we need to pop in right when we were supposed to Bombs away. yeah increase speed and uh, pop up bombs away There seems to be some measure of defensive fire from the target area. That means we are gonna go in fast and we're not gonna stay all that long. All at one eight. Bombs away.
Looks like Ulla flight made it out unscathed. Ulla 26, target destroyer. Ulla 26, bombs away. Yeah, that was a little bit of a glitch in Ulla terms of uh, the, the voice acting. Activate. We'll check that out later. Now it's time for us to try and find the uh, fuel vehicles and blow them up. I think we have some of them dead ahead. Ready now. I think that's a good hit, wouldn't you say? That's our cue to get out of there. We'll pop in B6 and move. Twenty miles to B six. Let's move out. And in all the confusion, I actually forgot to order my wingman to engage his target. But I suspect the MIGs are coming in fast, so we just better get out of there. We are about twenty kilometers from Kallax, and we should be good for a straight in approach. Not everything during this testing worked as I wanted it to, but that's okay. That's why you do testing. In fact, just getting the AI... LF LFC Illen, approach. Contact tower. LF09, clear to land. Welcome back. Thank you, Tower. We have the runway in sight and we'll move in to land at this time. Yeah, just getting the AI to do their part of the mission. And like I said, the MiG-23 MiG didn't really interfere, so uh, now that part didn't really work as advertised. But getting like Ulla-09 and Ulla-25 to do their part of the mission, that was surprisingly complex and took a lot of tries to and minor adjustments to get right. So I'm happy that their part worked out just fine. Uh, but uh, like I said, one zero and one eight LFC Illen approach contact tower. Well, shut up and prepare for the landing. Only one zero tower request landing clearance. Per Ulla 1018, clear to land. Welcome back. Now, if I program this correctly, they should be making what at least looks like a break over the runway, but they're not even per that close Ulla yet. So. And LFC Ilan, approach, contact tower. We'll see how that works out. We'll land ourselves in the meantime. Yeah, here they come. I, or that might also be my wingman, we'll see. 
But if everything works out, they should make like at least a facsimile of a break over the target over the runway. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be the best we can do under the circumstances. And that's it for this testing session. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoy the campaign whenever it comes out. I will, of course, not say give any sort of timetable, for obvious reasons. And this is not a taxiway. God damn it. <laughs>